Never mind what's going on in outer space. There's too much to worry about down here for your average working man. Your average working man less than there's you. <laughs> One pound sixty. Oh, Natalie, is there any news on Mr. Duck? Nothing so far, but uh, from what Vera said, I think he'll be in the operating theatre for a few hours yet. Good. So long. Well, I, mean, I don't know how they do a bypass operation, but I'm sure it's a pretty tricky procedure. Hmm. To think I get excited if I manage to thread a needle and stitch up my hem. <laughs> They're worth every penny, them surgeons. I raise my glass to them and to Jack's health. To yes. Jack. God bless him. Oh, poor Vera. She must be at her wit's end with all this waiting. Is she on her own? No, Judy's gone over to keep her company, so I imagine she'll ring when she's got some news. Mind you, what a day to go into the night. What with that eclipse thing on and all? Bad omen is that. Well, it's, it's what do you reckon, isn't it? Now then, Fred, you've no. You're a butcher. Does a pig's heart look much like a bug's? I can't say they've had cause to compare them. Why? Well, they think they're transplanting them, aren't they? Into us humans. And I don't think I fancy the idea. Well, I wouldn't worry about it too much, Les. I mean, I doubt there's much chance of rejection in your case. Oh, very funny. <laughs> no, medical science, it's a marvellous thing, but we ought to watch it doesn't go too far. Mind you, some of us have got everything to gain by it, haven't we? Oh, right. how do you make that out? That'd be a nice little learner for you on the side, won't it? Spare part surgery. Just to let you know, I've had Judy on the phone and Jack's out the operating theatre and it looks like he's going to be all right. Oh. Oh. Well, he's a good friend to this place, so I'm going to get all the drinks on me and we shall toast his health. Oh, better, better. Mine's a pint and set one up for our Janice. She'll be here any time now. Oh, uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll have the same again, please. OK. Oh, just excuse me a second. There you are. Mike. I believe you had a chat with my mother. That's right. She said, ignore your tempestuous behaviour and that you wanted to carry on working for me after all. It ain't not been the same without you, Deirdre. Yeah, well, my mother has got a speech impediment and you just can't believe a word she says. Oh, I see. Does that mean you won't reconsider it? Not ever. <laughs>